So I'm entering my sixth year now. And in just my department, in the science department, we have 15 positions. And now entering my sixth year, I have seen 16 teachers leave. So pretty much every position has been lost and replaced in some capacity. And, and I think it's what was in the research, what Sagoon and what Nyla have been talking about. It's a mix of everything. Half of it is compensation. I'm from a district where, for whatever reason, the salary schedules ended up the way they were. Many teachers who are earning masters actually earn less money for the same steps as teachers who have bachelors, which is a whole other fun side story. Um, beyond that, it's a lot of, as Desiree was saying in the research, we all have science backgrounds especially. So we are leaving for these lucrative positions. We are seeking opportunities that cater to our needs because we've really invested in this world of science and we want, especially as I do as a teacher, I want to share that world of science with them. But uh, the reasons for us staying become less and less and also echoing this idea of administration where, um, and I think it's also compounded by the fact that when you have many new teachers on top of it, now that same administrator has to cater to the needs of many new teachers and then the exhaustion of these resources where on top of it, if the administrator is not prepared, now on top of it, they're catering to many teachers who aren't prepared and it, it just becomes this feedback loop. Uh, to the point where it's like, you know, defense of the dark arts and Harry Potter, and it's just every year it's a new teacher. 